Sorry about that earlier. The stream was dying on me for some reason. We're having some network issues, so unfortunately I was not able to get through this conversation I was trying to have about the new characters. And I know everybody's making their videos about, oh, this character's going to be amazing and y'all should buy them and blah, 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 whatever. Uh, I don't really do that. I don't need to read blogs to people. It seems like a waste of time to me. I'd rather read the blog myself and think about how am I going to use this character? It's, is it going to work for me? Is it? Like, for instance, Squirrel Girl. Let's see. She's a young Avenger. Her team is generally going to be young Avengers. Uh, I haven't even bothered building America Chavez. Uh, Miles has always been kind of on the low end for me because he's not a huge priority. He does his ult and then he dies and that's, that's pretty much it. So maybe on young Avengers they'll be able to survive a little longer and do more. I don't know. I just don't really see any need for another brawler team. Um, I like Ms. Marvel. I like her kit a lot. Um, until I built Karnak, I was using her as a fifth in Inhumans, and she worked great in that capacity. Um, she was actually really, really good. Um, you know, if, if I could get a disrupt and dispel from someone else, I wouldn't even put Karnak on that team, and I would put Ms. Marvel there permanently. Uh, but to me, I just don't have these Young Avengers Red Stars and have them built to make it worthwhile. So I'm not going to buy a Squirrel Girl. I'm not going to do anything with it. I got three reds on her. That's fine. Uh, earlier, I was pulling reds. I got a six red Oracle from an Elite Four Orb. Uh, that was a huge disappointment. Um, you know, because he's useless, but whatever. Uh, Beast, it's kind of the same thing. He, there's so many X-Men. I don't even know what to do with them all. Uh, I haven't even built Cyclops yet. I need to. I know. I know. We talked about this. I did add one piece of gear to him today, and we're going to keep doing that every stream. So uh, he'll eventually get up there, but uh, it's going to be a little while. So I know he's great. I do like him a lot. I think his kid is great. I think he does a lot of damage, but he's just not on my radar right now. So the thing I was trying to talk about that was really important is Emma Frost passive. Um, so the thing is, and, and it even seemed like in the chat that several people were saying that this was negative 10% speed bar, not speed. Um, so look, the way that this is worded and the way that it appears to me, it says on turn heal self for 5% max health, right? Apply negative 10% speed to all enemies. This to me seems like it's on spawn and perpetual. So what that would I would say is that it's if you have a hundred speed character on the enemy side, it will be a 90 speed character. And then if they get slowed, instead of having 50 speed from their base 100 uh, speed, they would have a base of 90 and it would be 45 speed because that would be half of 90 speed. Um, so this to me is a game changer. Um, it means that if I bring, you know, a yo-yo black bolt combo in, or an arena against the yo-yo black bolt combo and I have Emma and they don't, my yo-yo and black bolt are going to go before theirs because they will have essentially 10% higher speed. Now, the way I can show uh, some differences here is that characters that reduce speed or speed bar always say it. Um, and I haven't found one that doesn't. So like Greg, for instance, on death, reduce speed bar of all enemies by 10%, right? If you look at like uh, Proxima also, uh, her ult reduces speed bar by 50%. Speed bar, right? That's the key word. Having bar in there is different from base speed. Um, some other guys that do this, uh, like Coulson, for instance, has it on his pa uh, his basic. I'm sorry. Uh, reduce speed bar primary and secondary targets by 20%. But they all say speed bar from what I've seen. I know Okoye is also one of these characters that does speed bar manipulation, right? I think it's her ult. Yeah, reduce speed bar by 30%. So to me, um, not only is Emma going to make Marauders amazing, um, she doesn't have the Marauder tag, which is a little bit different, but I think that's just uh, because of the way that the Marauder's abilities already play with each other. Um, so she's just going to be the fifth Marauder by default because she works with mutant villains, and they're all mutant villains, so uh, that's fine. Uh, but I think her her passive is going to be really interesting, right? Because it's going to give negative 10% speed to the enemies. And that's going to change turn orders quite a bit. That's going to change up the fight quite a bit. Um, and I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing how this plays out. But that's what I was trying to discuss on stream before everything started to crap out. Um, I think I think unless Fox Next or Scopely or whatever cl uh, clarifies this particular ability, uh, we're not going to know how it's going to work until she gets in the game, which appears to be at least you know several weeks away um, since Squirrel Girl just launched and we don't even have her campaign yet. Um, so 
we'll see. Uh, she's supposed to be a Blitz release in, I would guess, mid-August, maybe? Something like that? Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But I think that's pretty cool. I think that's kind of interesting for how it could uh, change arena play quite a bit. Uh, I think that, that makes her a really interesting candidate for arena. And so as a solo character, she could be really powerful. Um, and of course on arena attack, you could always, instead of using black order, you could always use like sinister and some of the marauders, um, to, you know, do, do something interesting with her involved. And then, you know, that that's, I don't know, that's just really interesting to me, but that's what I was trying to talk about. Um, the rest of the update, obviously there's a lot of new shit. Um, I went over it with the uh, with the stream, but yeah, Ultima's shop seems like garbage so far for the orbs. Supply store is really overpriced too. I would not recommend buying any of this stuff unless you absolutely need it. Um, for instance, I need a whole bunch of these catalysts, um, so I may buy some of those just for the hell of it. Uh, other thing that you can do um, is go into advanced mode and item count in store is available, which is pretty cool. So go turn that on and then you can see, oh, I have 6,870 of these things, right? Isn't that cool? I don't have to click on them anymore. So I'll know exactly what I need uh, based on how many there are. So I have 117 of these ABCs. So obviously you need to buy some of those. Uh, but yeah, two and, a, two and a quarter orbs for 15 of these. That's basically, uh, let's see, how much are they worth now? 240k for 10. So that's 360k gold, essentially, is uh, what they're making these Ultimus orbs equivalent to. Um, so that's an interesting data point. Um, certainly I'll be looking at that uh, for some of this and trying to figure out what the economics is behind it. But uh, that's, you know, it's not horrible for something that you could probably use quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of interesting things in this update, but uh, nothing really game-breaking aside from Emma. Uh, so I am saving all of my elites for Emma. Um, she deserves it. She looks amazing. And really, yeah, she's not going to do a ton of damage or anything. But what she is going to do is survive and make Marauders pretty amazing. So uh, I really like Marauders. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work really hard on getting her built up and saving up the mutant gear needed for her. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, for now, I'm going to pass on Beast and Squirrel Girl and just leave them, you know, down here at the bottom of the roster. Uh, they will be relegated to the likes of Minst Monstrosity, Stitcher, Blademaster, and Grenadier's uh, realm that will be down here for quite some time uh, I don't think I'll need to build them so although I will say if you're a newer player and you're trying to get through you know campaigns and challenges with three star beast is your dude this is like the only thing I can think of for him as far as ma major usages is uh, this losing somebody in a in a fight does not count against your medals for campaigns and challenges. To me, that's that's geared directly towards new and mid-game players. Uh, if you started in the last six to eight months or so, I'm sure this would help a lot because if you got Phoenix, even at five star, she can die, turn into Dark Phoenix, wipe the node clean, and you still get three stars. And to me, I think I think that's the most valuable thing on Beast right now. Um, I don't I don't really consider his storm you know synergy to be all that much yeah he helps her get more charges which is nice it'll save you some time but i never really had trouble charging storm i just don't bother with it because i don't care um maybe if we're going for 100 on on difficulty 5 u7 i'll do it but i'm not going to build beast just to you know save a few attacks or whatever in early nodes of d of u7 so whatever um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, those guys have okay kits. I don't really care, but Emma, Emma is the, uh, the, the, the prize in this update. So I'm, I'm going to be hoarding for her quite a bit. <laughs> I'm probably going to halt my exports development too, just because, just because I don't want to, uh, not be able to max her, uh, right off the bat. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll be interested to see what her, uh, uniques are and all that too because i gotta save those up and start buying them maybe so we'll we'll see how all that goes but for right now um i really like her i can't wait to get her she's gonna make my marauders team pretty amazing which is already if you want to just do mutant villain that's the way to look at you know a lot of your characters and then when she comes you know you'll be able to see her too but i got a six red strife five red sinister four on saber and mystique so 
Uh, tier 14 on these two makes them really powerful. And then I'm going to tier 14 strife here in just a little bit. And um, and then I might build up Mystique a bit more. I don't really use her for anything else other than war defense. But uh, her with Emma coming, I want to make that team really strong. Because I know as soon as she hits the board, it's, it's going to be defense wins all over the place with her. So uh, it should be pretty fun for war. Anyway, just wanted to wrap that up and uh, show you guys uh, negative 10% speed on her passive is legit OP. Uh, it's going to be pretty amazing to see how that works along with all the other defense buffs and everything else she grants for, for these guys. So it should be pretty cool. All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you later.